Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of The Unmistakable Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a universal inbox in MEM. But before we get into the video, make sure you check out our free course on how to take better book notes. It'll help you build a library of wisdom and knowledge that's always at your fingertips, makes it super easy to remember what you learn and retrieve that knowledge with the push of a button. So what is a universal inbox? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's one inbox where you capture all of the different messages that you're getting from various sources. So if you're like most people, you probably have a dozen different inboxes. For example, Instagram direct messages, emails, messages from Facebook, messages from Slack. And what that ends up causing is a bunch of context shifts in which you're having to go to different apps for different things and constantly retrieving information from different places, and it's a massive drain on your productivity. But if you create a universal inbox where everything is captured, uh, you, one, don't have to visit all these different locations to retrieve information. You don't have to use all these different apps and have 100 different tabs. You can focus on your most essential priorities as opposed to everything else, and you can move your projects and your tasks forward. And you can move your projects and your tasks forward so much faster than you could otherwise. Creating a universal inbox where you capture everything is a huge time saver because it limits the number of places you need to visit as well as context shifts so that you're not constantly going back and forth between apps to retrieve information. It reduces reactionary workflow, which means you're not just replying to messages the minute they come in. And it also makes it super easy to retrieve information quickly and it helps you filter out irrelevant information so you can focus on your most essential priorities. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you can't reply or send messages from within MEM, but it's still really useful to not spend all day being in one of your inboxes. Now, the process is going to be the same for all three of the different types of messages that we're going to capture in our inbox, whether you're talking about Slack messages uh, or emails or messages on social media, it's going to be exactly the same. And basically, anytime something happens based on a trigger that you'll set uh, in one app, like for example, email, it will create a mem that goes directly into your inbox. So let's start by talking first about how you capture emails inside of mem. The nice thing is this is the easiest one to set up, but you also want to be careful so that you don't have every email that you receive end up in your inbox inside of mem. And that's why it's really important to have some filters and some criteria for the emails that you're going to capture inside of your mem inbox. One of the funniest but most useful ways to filter your email is something that I heard the copywriter Dan Kennedy once say. He filters his email through two criteria. Is this person asking me to do something or is this a person that's trying to give me money? Now, that's a bit ruthless, but I think you get the point. So the types of people that you typically are going to want to make sure you capture emails from in your inbox and mem are your VIPs, meaning your customers, business partners, other people. Maybe you have newsletters that you read that you open all the time. Maybe you want to capture bank transactions and invoices. So let's get into how you actually set this up. The nice thing is that mem actually created a default flow already for this which allows you to do this. And you can see here, they've already done one for Slack as well. So let's start with sending emails to Mem. So what you'll see here is when you set this up uh, or you click on flows, it will take you to this screen where you just click on use this zap. And then what that will do is it will take you over to Zapier. Just to be on the safe side, when you first set this up, I recommend that you limit this to a handful of people. Otherwise your inbox in Mem will have every email you receive, which is something you definitely don't want. And once you understand how to use filters the right way, then you can add more people and more filters in here. So there are a few different ways that we can do this. We can filter by domain, by sender, by keywords, anything you star. So in my case, I have a private email address for some very important people. And so these are people that are either on our ad sales team or on our investors. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and click next. And you'll see here that it gives you the option to enter different search criteria. And in my case, there are two domains that I want to receive emails from. Our investor, for example, is a guy at a company, TechNexus. So I definitely wanna have any emails that I receive from him come into my inbox in mem. 
So you can see here that it actually allows you to decide you know, who you want to receive an email from. You can set this up by domain as well. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just put you know, Andy, who is our main principal at our investor, because anytime he sends me an email or responds to one of my emails, that's something I know is incredibly important. So I wanna make sure I capture it in my inbox inside of Mem. Now, what you'll see here is it goes through this little section here where it is getting data from inside of Gmail. And you'll see here now we're connected to Mem. So now it gives you the option to decide what you actually want in the content of your Mem. So typically what you really want get more than anything else is who the email is from, the subject line, as well as the body, the date may not be that important. If we click next, what you'll see here is that it actually will send me a previous email and create a mem. So let's go ahead and just press send test. And when you do that, you will get a message saying that the test was successful. Cool, so you can see test mem sent you check your mem account to view it. So let's do that. So now you'll see if I go into my inbox, I have an email based on who the sender was that automatically gets sent to my inbox inside of mem. And what you wanna do after this is we're gonna go back and we can actually say next and we can say turn on the zap and from that point forward, any emails that I get from Andy will actually show up right inside of my mem inbox. Now let's do the same thing for Slack messages. So what you'll see when you log in are two different places where you can actually create a mem. One is from right here, and then the other is from this button in the top left. And for some reason, when you search from here, mem doesn't actually show up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to press create. The app that we're going to choose in this case that we wanna connect mem to is Slack. And then what we're gonna say is new message posted to channel. So for example, I can pick any one of these Slack accounts. So in this case, I'm gonna pick the mem community. And now what I can do is I can choose any one of these. So for example, support requests. Now, obviously I don't work on the customer support team at mem, so it might not make sense to do that, but it might make sense to do that because I could use the support request to come up with new ideas for videos that I wanna create for this YouTube channel. And you can see here that now I have the person who sent the message, I had the person's name, as well as their email. And so what I can do is I can directly route that Slack message to my mem inbox. And all I have to do is say, create a new mem, and then choose my mem account. And you'll see here that it again, gives me the option to figure out whatever data I want to include. So in this case, I may not want to have the username. I just might want to you know, bring in the text so I can see what this message was. The other thing that's really nice about this is when you're setting up these automations, you can actually add your tags. So for example, if I put in the tag support, it will actually show up in my inbox. Now, if we press continue, what you'll see here is that now we know what content we're gonna get inside of mem. And if we go ahead and press test and review, we can go back to the inbox inside of mem. And you can see here that it sends the Slack message that person sent also with the tag that I included. So that's one thing that's really cool. So you're not constantly responding to Slack messages all day. You can actually have Slack messages sent to you, whether you do them by channel, whether you do them by sender, whatever it is you want. If you, you know, go back here, you can see that when we set this up, we can say new message posted to the channel, new saved message, or anytime somebody mentions you. So that's how you send Slack messages to your inbox in Mem. So another thing we can use this for in terms of our universal inbox inside of Mem is to capture messages from social media. So let's do that really quick. Let's say that we want to capture messages from Twitter uh, or tweets. So there are people on Twitter who I know share really useful content. And one of my favorites is Lin-Manuel Miranda because he shares these sort of inspirational snippets that we can capture. And so what we're gonna do in this case is we're going to select a specific user tweet and you'll choose your own Twitter account. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to find 
that person's Twitter username. So in this case, we're talking about Lynn Manuel Miranda. And once that's in there, if you press continue and you test the trigger, what you'll see uh, is that it actually gives us the full text of one of his latest tweets. So then what we can do is scroll down, connect it to mem, and inside of mem, we will create a new mem that puts any tweet from Lin-Manuel Miranda along with whatever text he has inside of mem, and then press continue. And you'll see here that we know, you know who this came from. And then if we press test and review, and we go back, you'll see here that I not only get Lin-Manuel Miranda's latest tweet, but I can also go see it on Twitter if I wanted to. Now, unfortunately, the thing that I found when I was researching for this video is that you can do this for Facebook and uh, you can do this for Instagram, but for Facebook, you can only do this for messages sent to your fan page, not to your personal Facebook messenger. This is a process that you can use to create a universal inbox that routes information from any app that you might be using, whether it's a task management app, whether it's a project management app, it doesn't really matter because Zapier connects to thousands of different apps as you'll see here. So for example, if there's a Google Doc, you could have it automatically sent to your inbox. And in the next video, I'll actually show you how I import podcast transcripts directly into MEM, perfectly formatted with the speaker names bolded.